Hello, this is Mesos Orm, and welcome to the SFML Tutorials with Classes. Today, we'll be constructing fonts and text classes. First, we'll make a header file. Call it fonts. And a source file. Also call it fonts. C++. We'll say sharp include fonts.h. Move this over here and go into the .h file. Say sharp include IO stream. Sharp include string.h. And sharp include sfml slash graphics.hpp. We'll make our class class fonts, which inherits public sf font. Do this as usual. And public constructor fonts and destructor fonts. In the constructor, we will say standard string address and we will make a void init fonts with the standard string address. Now I will be defining these really quickly. In fonts, we will say init fonts address. In init fonts, we will say if not this open from file address. Next, we will send an error, say standard C E R R error fonts init fonts. I could not load file address Oops. standard and line. Then finally, so the text is not blurry, we say this set smooth false. Now we will make a text class. We'll make a header file. Name it text and a source file. Also name it texts. Text.c. Up here, sharp include texts in the dot h file. We will say sharp include string stream and sharp include fonts.h. <clears throat> we will make our class class text public sf text and public. For our constructor we will say text standard string str as in string and standard string uh, font address. And we just make a normal deconstructor. Going up here, we will say standard string original string. Then call our fonts class fonts star fonts. We will need to initialize our font, so we say void init font standard string font address. And we will need to also initialize our string, so we say void init string standard string str as in string. And later on, we will need to stream our texts. So we will say void 
stream text and set as default standard string str equals nothing and float variable equals 0.0f. Now we will quickly define these. And over here we will say sf text star fonts. In our destructor we will say delete fonts. And in our constructor we will say init font font address as well as init string str. Now in init font, we will say fonts equals new fonts font address. Next we will say this set font star fonts. In init string, we will say original string equals str. Then we will say this set string original string. Down in stream text, we will say standard string stream has string. We will feed our string stream both the string and the variable. So we say s stream str and var. Finally, we will say this set string s stream dot str. Now let's save. I'm going to move things around so we can have everything in order. What's happening in the fonts class is that we are asking for an address which we will send to init fonts. In init fonts, that will open from the file of the address specified. If it cannot open that address, it will send us an error message. Then it will set whatever font you have as smooth being false, so that is not blurry in the text.c++ file. In our constructor, we are calling for a string and a font address. In initialize fonts, we are making a new fonts class and sending our address to there. And then we are setting this text class fonts as the fonts that we have sent the address to. Since we have called for a default string into init string, we will say that that string is the original string. And then we set our original string in the text class as original string. In our stream text function, we are taking in a string and a float variable. We are then feeding them into string stream in this order so that if you have time, for example, it would say time 1.2345, for example. And then we are setting this text string as that string stream back in our game.h file. We will say sharp include texts.h. Then down here, we will say texts star texts. Next, we will say void init texts. And we will define that now. In init texts, we will say texts equals new texts dt 0 0.1234560 zeros. Then we say fonts slash Arial dot ttf. To make sure our texts are centered, we'll say texts set origin texts get global bounds dot size divided by 2.0f. Then we will set the text to the center of the screen. We will say text set position width 
divided by 2.0 f and height divided by 2.0 f. We will copy this, scroll down, and say init text in the constructor of the game class. Then we will delete texts. Scrolling up a bit, we will delete this. Say float dt equals times dot get delta time. Then we say texts stream text dt and delta time. Now in rendering, we will say window draw star texts. Now we will open the debug menu and see that our time is displayed. It says delta time because we put that in as a string and then it puts in our variable of delta time. Thank you for joining me today. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.